done here today. But uh, we're, we're pulling uh, the footholds out today because tonight and tomorrow we're supposed to get snow and ice. Um, I want to show you guys something. Um, long lining like my dad and I do uh, when pulling tr uh, foothold traps, it, most of the time we double stake and we crisscross stake, so they're kind of hard to pull. So we've invented something um, that's going to help you save your back and, and some time. So check this out. gloves on. Alright, so as you can see pipe, we took a pipe, we took rebar, and we took a leaf spring off of a Ford pickup. We cut it and we made a notch in it right here it goes on the end so uh, let me show you something all right so you see this stake the head on the stake when they're in the ground when they're in the ground crisscrossed for say what you do is you put this in and it, it goes in the groove and up and when you pull you have leverage from this pipe it pulls your stake right up I, I'll demonstrate over here real quick for you and so the first thing I want to do is I want to find my trap and not my finger like Dad did. I'm going to find my trap. There it is. Clean it off. Clean it up. Fire it. Then I'm going to find my stakes. There's one. What you do, take your point. Take it in. Pull up. Now look at this. There's your stake. Then you just pull right on out. Stick it there, find the other one. Put it on there. Pull right out of grip. Now how hard was that? Now of course if you got a walk a ways, this thing is not the lightest because it is steel. So a hammer will work. But when you like I said, when you're long line like we do. This is the easiest method to save your back. It's the best invention made uh, for pulling stakes. Well, looks like somebody, when they went, remade these, couldn't find the trap. Wonder who that would be. See that little spot? All right, so we're gonna pull this one as well using our trusted stake puller. First thing I'll do on this one is get rid of the backing because that wasn't there before um, out of the farmer's field we'll find the trap pull it up these traps are still clean uh, fire it and we'll find our stakes and we yank the stakes out get one 24 incher The other one just like that now note notice something real quick these stakes notice how you see a 24 and an 18 hold them over in the snow 24 and an 18 there you go the areas that we're trapping down here is soft farmland most of it so it's important for trapping coyotes and foxes not so much fox but coyote where they're down here heavy that you double stake. What I mean by that, here, let me show you. Let me show you real quick. Here. You notice on these traps, we have on the end of the chain, you see the double stake swivel hole. Most traps come with one loophole. So what we do, we take an 18 and we'll put it in. And we won't drive it straight, but we'll angle it. And then we'll angle the 18. Now, Something dad taught me, drive the 18 in first, just to make sure you can get it in there. Because if not, you start driving the 24 and it don't go all the way in. We know about pounding. But uh, we found it definitely, you definitely want to double stake and with crisscross stakes, this old stake puller, this old stake puller definitely comes in handy. Saves your back 
and saves you time. Thanks for watching. Folks, you're watching Steven's Family Outdoors. Hope this little tip helped you guys. Um, God bless you all and uh, stay tuned and we'll see you down the road. Thank you.